Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me for pricing at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the Breitling Navitimer B01 Swiss Air from the 2019 Airlines Capsule Collection. This watch is 43 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel, 14.4 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip 49.1 millimeters and it has a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs the watch features the colors of swiss air and on the reverse side the swiss air logo the bracelet is a mesh design and it features a vintage inspired straight bar junction with the lugs throwing the watch on my wrist which is 16 centimeters in circumference you can see that it fits nicely though it is a large timepiece though as a utility piece with a complex calculator bezel the size is necessary the watch is fairly thin for what it is though it's not going to fit underneath the tightest dress sleeves you can see from lug to lug it's not excessively broad across the wrist but there's a little bit of stiffness in the bracelet that creates the impression you're wearing something larger take note i would recommend this watch on a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference or larger now, in theory, the bracelet pulls straight down. It does need to be sized properly to really fit your wrist like a glove, and mesh bracelets are particularly sensitive in that regard. That said, it's an easy one to size as the links are built in like a conventional bracelet. You can actually remove whole sections of the chain mail simply by removing screws. And you have many individual removable links. So you're gonna find that sizing is quite easy with the clasp, which is a single fold deployment. You have several divots drilled into the clasp body and you can use your strap tool to move the spring bar and change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside to change the fit. We have a single fold deployant clasp with a clamshell lock to keep it secure on the wrist and the bracelet is a wonderfully supple thing so while it is quite complicated both visually and technically it is a wonderfully fluid thing as well that feels more like fabric on the wrist than chain mail these are all made by a german company called steib which specializes in mesh bracelets and actually create huge sheets of these chains they're cut to size and then finished on the flank to remove the burrs and sharp edges it's a real marvel of industrial production and it looks the piece of a 1960s mesh bracelet now of course the navitimer came out in the 50s and its heyday was in the 50s and 60s as a flight calculator watch for pilots the flank is true to the original as we have minimally beveled squared off lugs a thin mid case everything's of high poly here with vintage style pump pushers and a coined crown that has a Breitling B logo externally. The bezel features outer profiles that are polished with inner profiles that are satinated and it works quite simply. You can multiply and divide with it. That's its primary function. We also have units that have been added to make this a flight calculator. The first Breitling circular slide rule bezel using a logarithmic scale was actually the chronomat. The Navitimer came later, either in 1952 or 1954, depending on who you believe. But the idea here was that we finally had everything you needed to calculate fuel consumption, drift, airspeed, ground speed, and rate of climb. So the way this works is you take, let's say you want to divide, you take a number on the outer scale, let's take 80, and let's say I want to divide it by 4 or 40. So I'm going to move 80 over 40, and you need to keep the units in mind, but you also need to keep the decimals in mind. The bezel will help you out with units like kilometers. Uh, Decimals are up to you. So we have 80 over 40. Now I go to the inner scale. I look at the index, which is 10. And you can see 80 divided by 40 is 2. Or 8 divided by 4 is 2. Again, you have to add your own decimals. Now let's say I want to multiply. Let's say I want to multiply 13 by 2. Now I go to the outer scale that's over the 2, and you can see it's roughly aligned with 26. Make sure I got these things aligned properly. So 13 times 2 is 26, and that's how that works. Once you get the hang of it, you can outpace your friends with their smart watches calculating the tip at restaurants, and that's primarily how these bezels are used. Although I will say, in military aviation, they still teach these circular slide rules. Now, we have the colors of Swiss Air. We have black. We have sort of orangey red and silver white. We have applique, rhodium-plated indices. The watch is loomed. We'll take a loom shot look right here. 
and you can see that it's actually a fairly easy watch to see in the dark. It's not highly water resistant, though, at 30 meters. It has all other sports watch credentials. The hands at center are a combination of varnished red and white. We have sunken sub-registers with constant seconds, chronograph minutes, and chronograph hours. I should probably wind this watch up and start the chrono. The timepiece has a date window, and there are two subsidiary setting modes. You have hacking or stop seconds, and then you have a quick set date if you wish to cycle the date. Flipping the watch over, you can see the caliber B01 introduced in 2009. It's Breitling's in-house caliber. You can see the column wheel is visible inside. It is a column wheel vertical clutch chrono, automatic winding it as a 70 hour power reserve, quick set date, hacking seconds, four hertz beat rate, 47 joules. It has a column wheel for crisp actuation and it has a vertical clutch so it engages without any jump or stagger to the seconds hand. You can also leave the chrono running full time if you wish, thanks to the vertical clutch, which does not increase the wear and tear on the movement when in operation. And again, five position adjusted, COSC certified Swiss chronometer, a lot to recommend the movement Movement, though it was not originally designed for display case back, it actually has a very handsome appearance. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.